In this video we're going to take a look at some formatting options for tables in Word 2013. Um, first of all, when you um, select a table or click in any part of a table, Table Tools tab will appear up here and it's got two tabs underneath it. It's got a Design tab and it's got a Layout tab. And the Design tab has to do with uh, formatting the table and the layout tab has more to do with the structure of the table so we're going to be looking at things on the design tab in this video uh, first thing we're going to look at is table styles here and there are a bunch of predefined table styles and these table styles the colors used in these table styles depend on the theme that you currently are using and we're just going to pick uh, we'll just pick one here and if your table looks, if that's the way you want your table to look, then everything is fine. Uh, it did banded rows. Uh, it made column one bold. Uh, it made the top row bold and changed the color to white. Now, whenever you have a table selected, you get some options over here, and you can turn these on or off. We're just going to go through them and see how they affect our table. If you turn the header row off, it makes the first row look like any other one. Uh, if you want a total row, you can make the bottom row look a little different from everything else. Uh, if you want banded rows, you can turn that on or off. If you want your first column to look different, the first column here uh, is not shaded differently, but it does have bold text, and if those are labels, you might want them to be bold. If they're not, uh, you might want to turn this off. Uh, sometimes you may have something special in the last column, and you may want that to look different. If I turn that on, I get bold stuff over here in the last column. And sometimes you may want banded columns. I doubt if you'd ever want both banded rows and banded columns at the same time, so I'm going to turn that off for a second. Um, most of the time, though, when you're dealing with tables, uh, you have related things on a row, so banded rows usually makes more sense than banded columns. Now, the rest of our ribbon up here ha deals with two things. It deals with shading and borders, and shading is relatively straightforward. You select what it is that you want. Whoops just want that first row and go to design here and pick yourself a shading color and the colors on top remember are related to the theme that you currently have And if you change the theme after you select um, a color scheme for your table then you're gonna get different colors so make sure that you've decided on your theme before you do any of this formatting uh, as a matter of fact let's go back here I'm gonna um, pick um, We'll do that one right there. And then I'm going to go to my design tab here and I'm going to go to themes and I'm going to pick a different theme. And as soon as I do, now my colors are different. If I go back here to design and if you go look at these over here, those are different from what we had before because they're based on the theme colors. And these colors are different than they were before because they're based on the theme colors as well. Uh, if you want uh, to specify a color, you can do more colors here and you get a little rainbow of colors here that you can select from. If you don't see what you want there, you can go to custom and you can specify any value you want for red, green, and blue from 0 to 255, which means you have access to all 16 million colors that are available on Windows. So that's uh, pretty much all you have to do is shading. If you just want to shade one cell, you can uh, select the whole cell like that and then go up here and shade it. Um, if you want to select several cells but not the whole row, you know, just drag the mouse through them. And so basically you select what you want and you pick the color for it. Uh, you've got a few more options if you're doing um, borders. Uh, we've got border styles. And up here uh, we've got some more border. I don't know if these are called styles or not, but uh, you've got more options for borders here. So let's pick one and you can define how wide it's going to be. I'm going to make that a little bit uh, skinnier than the default and you can pick whatever you want to for a pen color. I'm going to go with the standard colors here and then you can take your little pencil and you can click and drag and whatever you drag your mouse over will become the color that you selected here for your pen. So you can you can pick a pen color, you can, you can go to the border painter and you can drag uh, over the borders that you want to color and basically color them in individually but I don't think that's the best way to do it. Uh, the best way I think to do it is to go to borders here and then go down to borders and shading down at the bottom and you get this borders and shading dialog box. And uh, for borders here uh, we've got some defaults 
and a preview window over here. I'm going to set it to none for right now, and then I'm going to click on OK. And if we go back here, uh, I didn't have the whole table selected, so let's try that again. Uh, let's go to Borders and go to Borders and Shading, and let's select none and click on OK, and now all of our borders go away. And actually, I'm going to see if I can go back and can I reshade that? Yes, I can. So now, select the entire table, go to Borders, go to Borders and Shading, and we're going to see a preview over here. Now it's got some default lines in here already, some light green. And what you want to do is you want to select your colors first. So let's do something that's obviously different and make it a little bit thicker so we can see it as well. And then select which you want for borders here. So I want, if I want uh, an outside border to look like this, just click on the outside borders, click on OK, and there you have your outside border. Uh, if you want your inside borders to be different, which sometimes you might, we'll just pick a different color for those and something again that's obviously different. And the horizontal lines, I'll, I'll just click on OK here. And the horizontal lines got changed, and I'm going to go back in and I'm going to change the vertical lines. And uh, it's gone back to the maroon here, so let's choose green again and do the vertical lines. And click on OK. These lines, these two lines here will define all of the interior borders and these four lines here will define all the exterior borders. And usually you want all the interior borders to be the same. You want all the exterior borders to be the same. You may even want them, even the interior and exterior ones to match. Um, I don't think there are many times when you want to go in and individually change the color of certain borders of certain cells in here. Usually it's an all or none situation. So if that's the case, then you should go here and go to borders and borders and shading. If for some reason you want to change individual borders and not all of the interior or all of the exterior ones, then that's what the border painter is for. So that's uh, the options on the design tab and we'll take a look at the options on the layout tab in another video.